It's a cold day here uh, uh, on the road. I'm just about to get on a train and I was out on the platform there, but I just want to mention real quickly. If you want to make a trick, a magic effect, your own, you really make it yours, which I think is the goal at the end of the day. Three things to do. <clears throat> Number one is show it to people, perform it. If you don't perform the trick for people, you know, uh, you're just not going to really ever get a chance to make it your own and make it part of who you are. So number one, perform it for people, right? Number two, think about it. Think about it. Okay, really? What, what's the trick? What's the effect? What are you trying to do? How do you feel about it? Why do you like it? What do you not like about it? What do you like about it? Think about it. And three, experiment. You'll often find yourself in the end performing it maybe with the same script and the same handling as originally suggested by the creator. Fair enough. But even if you end up creating or even if you end up performing it much the same way you would have originally, um, you're going to have a further appreciation about the effect, the handling, the presentation. You're going to have more appreciation of it if you experiment with a bit. Okay? So I encourage you, really important, I think, to eventually feel so comfortable with an effect and to feel that you've in some way made it your own. So number one, of course, is show it to people, perform it. Right? Number two, think about it. Think about it. And number three, experiment.